in type 1 diabetes mellitus, what is the feature of stage 3 beta cell destruction? So we have discussed this in many of our classes in stage 1. What do you really see? In stage 1, the patient may have antibodies in the circulation, but the glycemic status will be normal. So we can say it's going to be normal glycemic and the patient will be asymptomatic as well. What about stage 2? In stage 2, of course, antibodies will be positive. Patient starts to develop dysglycemia, but it will be more of intolerance range, not frank diabetes. And patient will be asymptomatic as well. In stage 3, antibodies will be positive. Patient will be dysglycemic. And at this time, most of the patients will be having frank diabetes, which means the patient's sugar is going to meet the criteria for diagnosis of diabetes mellitus given by WHO and patient will be symptomatic where the patient starts experiencing all the osmotic and uh, metabolic side effects of high glucose like polyuria, polydipsia, polyphagia, weight loss and so on. So of course the answer for this question is going to be autoimmunity will be positive, patient will have dysglycemia and patient will be of course symptomatic as well.